In my industry, we believe that images can change the world. Okay, we're naive, we're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. The truth is that we know that the images themselves don't change the world. But we're also aware that since the beginning of photography, images have provoked reactions in people, and those reactions have caused change to happen. So let's begin with a group of images. I'd be extremely surprised if you didn't recognize many or most of them. They're best described as iconic, so iconic, perhaps they're cliches. In fact, they're so well known that you might even recognize them in a slightly or somewhat different form. <laughs> but I think we're looking for something more. We're looking for something more. We're looking for images that shine an uncompromising light on crucial issues. Images that transcend borders, that transcend religions, images that provoke us to step up and do something. In other words, to act. Now, this image you've all seen, it changed our view of the physical world. We had never seen our planet from this perspective before. Many people credit a lot of the birth of the environmental movement to our seeing the planet like this for the first time. It's smallness, it's fragility. 40 years later, this group, more than most, are well aware of the destructive power that our species can wield over our environment. And at last, we appear to be doing something about it. This destructive power takes many different forms. For example, these images taken by Brent Sturton in the Congo. These gorillas were murdered, some would even say crucified, and unsurprisingly, they sparked international outrage.